down. That was a great flight. A special report from ABC News. And the uh, crew of Columbia, the space shuttle, has uh, now just emerged. Colonel Jack Lausma, the uh, commander, and the pilot, Gordon Fullerton. When the space shuttle Columbia touched down at White Sands Missile Range on March 30, 1982, the public arrived in droves. Edwards Air Force Base in California was the primary site, but that was flooded. Landing construction at Kennedy Space Center was not yet completed. The only option was southern New Mexico, and that was touch and go, according to Bob Evans, an Alamogordo businessman and civic leader. We had received word that the, the shuttle was going to, to use the alternate landing site at North Strip, which of course later became the Space Harbor. That was on March 29th. By then, Lausma and Fullerton had been in space for a week and were running out of consumables. When NASA announced the landing in White Sands, people enthusiastically responded. One radio station, KPSA AM 1230, parked its remote van near a train overpass and invited listeners to join them. Cars, trucks, campers, and even bikers showed up and greeted the train with lights flashing and horns blaring. Northrop Strip became more or less self-supporting and they uh, brought most of the equipment to handle the shuttle in by rail. Now, normally it would have been flown in, I understand, but they saved about $2 million by by bringing it in by rail. But weather wasn't cooperating in New Mexico either. The winds had created a frenzy of a sandstorm. A large contingent of us went out on the day of the proposed landing, arriving out there about, uh, best I can remember, about 10 in the morning. So we had quite a time in watching for the shuttle landing, saw lots of activity at the landing site. Uh, ultimately, the, the uh, landing was called off that day. So we all got a chance to convoy back into town in the sandstorm.